Okay, welcome back. Last time we investigated Midwich Elementary School and I found a gold and a silver medallion. Basically, I then put those into the clock tower, then went into the clock tower, and when we came out, we were here. Which is still Midwich Elementary School, but it's definitively a different kind of place now. However, uh, to be totally honest, I am actually re-recording this episode. Pretty much, I recorded the episode and then realized, nope, I was muted the entire time. Which wasn't exactly my finest hour, but hey, uh, who knows, I, I might get this done faster, I might get this done more practically, who knows. If nothing else, I should know all of the puzzle solutions this time, this time, so it shouldn't be that bad. Okay, so I just kick that, and I pick up this, which is an ampoule, and... Okay, so I don't know what the ampoule properly does. It says, Relief paint to recover stamina to high. Effect lasts for a while. I don't know if that means it's just a straight up full heal immediately. Also, I can't leave yet because, uh, you know, I'm still in this bit, but this is the entrance to the school. But yeah, I don't know if I can go... Uh, I don't know if the ampoule is an instant full heal or if it heals over time or what. So in here, let's grab some handgun bullets. And this door was a painting in the real world. What? Is this a door? If it is, then there's no keyhole or even a knob. If I push it, it moves a bit, but it certainly won't open. What's this? In the center of the door is a horizontal slot. What's it for? Well, I found in the previous episode a, a picture card that has a picture of a key on it, so that should do it. Slid the picture card into the slot. Fantastic. Now, before I go and do anything else, let's open up this door. And also, quickly just head on in he No, I want to head on in here first. And that is a bit of a long load, and there's still nothing in this room. So, basically, this is going to be the only episode in this playthrough when I know what's going on. Basically, when I went into that bathroom, it teleported me up a floor. I don't know why it does that, but it does. Okay, so we get two boxes of handgun bullets and some shotgun shells. Fantastic. Now, also you can tell this that's a different place because the door's gone from here and you can hear enemies kind of just hanging around somewhere else. Okay, but that should teleport me back down to floor number one. And this is where we came in from. So now we head on into this other one and we should find something very, very helpful. And also... You know, a slightly horrifying thing. I mean, yeah, there's a hanging, decaying body there, but hey, we have a shotgun now. So that's pretty cool. A hanging body. This is sick. Now, Leonard Rain, the monster lurks. The monster lurks? What's that supposed to mean? Good question, Harry. We will find that out. Of, eh, I'm gonna say in like. I'll say 15 minutes, but I don't have an exact time scale. Things could go fast, things... Uh, I could get through this very quickly, or it could take a little while. Honestly, I was kind of hoping I'd be able to just dodge over enemies in here. Also, I just wanted to... Right. I basically just did a second circle there, just to make sure I wasn't missing anything. I wasn't, but there's no enemies in here. And let's quickly grab these handgun bullets and check this phone. It's the only one with a receiver. Can't use the phone. So now we head on back out. Cheryl! That was Cheryl's voice. She needs me. But how do I find her? Cheryl. So Harry Mason continues to be extremely understand- ex understandably extremely concerned dad. And that door is jammed, but this one's open. That's a little bit strange. Is there anything along here? No. And it's still jammed on that side. That's a little bit odd, but hey, whatever. So now we can head on up the stairs, and I'm immediately going to beeline my way to the third floor. I'm going to beeline my way to the third floor, mostly just because, well, 
it's the, it's the only way I can get up to the third floor, and I can now go through this door. So I'm now out on the roof. It is currently raining, and there is a hole in the ground here. There's a hanging key. It's just out of reach. Okay, so if we follow this along, there's another drain here. So I put the rubber ball that I found in the storage room in here, and that blocks the drain. So now we just run along here, turn this valve, drainage valve, we open that, and that should set the water away. So with that, basically, uh, if you don't put the if you don't put the ball in, the water gets to there and just goes straight down. Also, that is a very good kind of awful squeaky valve noise. That's a great little sound clip for it. Okay, so now if you look here, the key went down the drain, and now we get to play a fun little game of where did the drain go to, and the answer is it went outside, because. Well, you know, that's where drains typically go to. But yeah, basically, uh, I think I did mention this, like, right at the start of the episode. No, I'm going the wrong way here. Thanks, camera. Thanks for working with me here. But yeah, basically, I recorded this episode. Like, I recorded this episode and then basically just ran into a slight issue. That slight issue being I had not been recording my narration. Like, I was on mute for the entire thing, which wasn't exactly great. But hey, we now find the classroom key. Yeah, so now, well, obviously I need to access a classroom. But I also didn't go through this door when I first came in. So what's in here? A huge fan is rotating. If I get too close, I could be sucked in. Which obviously is not what we want to happen. So we take the first aid kit here. We take some more handgun bullets here. I will say, I think this game so far is very generous. Well, I think so far this game has been extremely generous when it comes to the, uh, when it comes to kind of just how much ammo and healing items I've gotten, because I have a whole bunch of these now. Like, how much how much ammo do I have? I have, I have 129 spare bullets. Like that is quite a few. Okay, so that tells me there's an enemy on the other side there. I probably can't hit it from here, though, can I? Can I? I don't think I can, and I'm not going to waste all of my bullets trying. Like, I'm not going to waste all my bullets trying to figure that one out. Although, is there anything in here? There's another box of bullets, and I took damage there, so I think I should be pretty low. Okay, I'm not quite low enough to need to heal just yet, but I am go- Okay, now I think I should heal. I think I'm in the red now. I am. So let's use it that. I- Okay, I must have been very close to dying there. I must have been super close to death because uh, the heal didn't bring me up into the green. It just it, uh, brought me back up into the orange. But hey, oh, okay, let's, I'll come back, I'll have to come back through here anyway. Uh, can I hit, I don't like these bug things. Like, the bug things are very uncomfortable. Mostly just because they're really annoying to hit. I mean, to be fair, show me a bug enemy that isn't. Okay, that, okay, I would say that, but realistically, there's a good few bug enemies that are quite easy to hit. Mostly because, you know, in some games you get quite large ones. Okay, so we kick that out. This door is locked. Okay, and now this door into, I think this is the locker room. It is. Fantastic. So in, in, the, in the real world, we found a cat in here. So what's going on here now? There's nothing inside. So there was nothing there. And that is a corpse falling out of a locker. Fantastic. I I don't know what I'm on about. Anyway, let's let's get the gun back and pick up this key, which it which is the library reserve key, and what is that thing? 
Like, it doesn't look like any of the enemies I've seen, and it doesn't look like a person. That looks almost more like a goblin than anything. <laughs> also, the music room is locked now. I think the way it works is basically... I think it's mostly... Uh, I think it's most of the rooms that you could go into in the main bit. Like, in the real world. Also, I think the... I think it's like most rooms that you could go into there, you can't go into now. Either way, all I need to do is make my way back through here, 10 out of 10. I'd like to thank that one for not getting a hit in. And 10 out of 10, dodge right past those. I love dodging enemies when I don't need to fight them. And this should put me out here. And, well, I saw what one heard one immediately, so let's shoot this thing down. Actually, I can probably just run past these. 10 out of 10, squirrel tactics win again. Okay, library reserve key. And, uh, what's over here? A first aid kit by the looks of it. And, you know, just banging up shots outside. Well, the next room over. What's this? The monster looks as the book's title. Chapter 3, Manifestation of Delusions. Poltergeists are among these. Negative emotions like fear, worry, or stress manifest into external energy with physical effects. Nightmares have, in some cases, been shown to trigger them. However, such phenomena do not appear to happen to just anyone. Although it's not clear why, adolescents, especially girls, are prone to such occurrences. Okay, so with that, I think... Oh, there's no useful books. Yep, that is everything we needed to do in this room, and that banging or shooting sound has stopped. So let's head on in here and see what's going on. So we have another door there, so that's going to be our... That's going to be our exit. There's nothing on here by the looks of things. But I will take some more handgun bullets, even though, even though I've ran past most of the enemies to, you know, not to save it. Hearing this, the hunter, armed with bow and arrow, said, I will kill the lizard. But upon meeting his opponent, he held back taunting, who's afraid of a reptile? At this, the furious lizard hissed, I'll swallow you up in a single bite. Then the huge creature attacked, jaws opened wide. This is what the man wanted. Calmly drawing his bow, he shot into the lizard's gaping mouth. Effortlessly, the arrow flew, piercing the defenseless maw, and the lizard fell down dead. This is from an old fairy tale. I remember reading it as a kid. Okay, so let's uh, keep going. And are there any items in here? No, this is where I came in from. I think. So now I can open up... No, this is... No, that's where I came in from. 10 out of 10, not even once am I going to succeed at navigating. Anyway. So now we use the classroom key and we can go in here. And that is more enemies, because of course it's more enemies. And am I on low health? Probably. Why, well, I'm still not. I... I will heal, though. I'll heal just for my own safety. Might be unnecessary, but I'd rather be too healed than not healed enough. Okay, so we grab another health drink. And I'm actually going to take the other door out. I'm going to take the other door out because there's also a health drink on this bench. And hey, if I can maximize my potential healing items available, then I will max out my potential healing items available, because I like having all of the options available to me. So we unlock that. That gives us a way back if you want to go and save if at this point, because honestly, it, you know, who knows? You could have been playing a little while and got unstuck or put on one of the puzzles or something, I don't know. And now we find two boxes of shotgun shells and another ampoule. Which basically is the game's way of going, hey, you're about to go into a kind of big fight. So, yeah, you, you should probably be a little bit prepared. Okay, so now I have to do this turnstile puzzle. So I turn, I turn the left one right. I think. I'm fully prepared to have now... Like, I'm fully prepared to mess this up. Okay, so now I turn this left. And now I think I turn it left again. Yeah, so it's... 
Yeah, so it was uh, right on the left one, then left twice on the right one. And now you just run on in and go down here. Okay. And there is, well, a body burning in the center of the room, but also a giant lizard-like creature. And I don't know how fast this is or how much damage it's going to do if it hits me, so I think it's probably for the best if I do everything I can to kind of maintain distance and and I press the wrong button. I defaulted to Resident Evil Brain there, okay. Like, I defaulted to, uh, I defaulted to, oh, it's, it's head just split in half, which, uh, mirroring of a legend that it told me, I'm gonna pull out the shotgun, wait for it, and just blast it in the head, I suppose. That was, I think that's it dead. Yeah, the screen's gone blurry and everything, that's, that's what's, that's what's done. Fantastic. Easy W. that who in the hell was that where am I this is a boiler room what's going on here so now we appear to be back in the real world there's a K Gordon key so I might as well take that and also reload for shotgun so reload for shotgun pull the pistol back out and away we go because now, we're back in Midwich proper. I hear a... A church bell, I think. But who's ringing it? Well, let's go to the church and find out. So we now need to make our way to the Balkan Church on... Block... Street, I guess? Okay, so... Uh... It's unlocked... Uh, doors jammed and can't be opened. I don't know if enemy, I don't know if like new enemies or healing items or anything are going to appear in here, but the notes are, like the bloody notes are gone. I imagine that, okay yeah, I imagine it's just like, hey there's nothing else to do here. You can have access to a save point but get out. I think that's probably how this works now. Yeah, so I still have the save point but I don't have anything else I appear to be able to pick up. Okay, so. In my I recording, uh, in my original recording for this episode, this is where I ended the episode off. Off. So once I step outside of this school, I have no idea what I'm in for. So I'm now stepping out once again into the unknown. Well, into the known that is the town of Silent Hill, but the unknown in terms of where to go. Well, I know where to go. I just don't know how to get there. Okay, so, there's no dogs here or anything, though, so that's kind of good. Like, there was two dogs right out front when I first came in. Okay, so there's a school bus. Can I, can I get on the bus? Are there items on the bus? Uh, oh, wow, I can get on the bus. You know what? That was a, that was a good kind of spur of the moment... I went, hey, can I do that? Huh, there's also a save point on here. Interesting. Fair enough. I mean, I, I'm i not going to cut the episode at 20 minutes. So, in the original recording, I stopped the episode at, I want to say, like, 23 minutes, because it was the end of Midwatch. But, I, you know, I think this should 
I don't know if this will be a... F this should probably be a Friday episode if I'm uploading these on the right day. Like, if I'm starting this when I think I'm starting this, this should be a Friday episode. And I, if I can avoid it, I would quite like to make those, you know, not be super short. Okay, that's an enemy nearby. That's a dog. And judging from the fact that the camera turned, I assume I have to go in here. Well, that was a good call, I guess. So, uh, used for K, Gordon Key. Fantastic. And I will take some more bullets. That's all. And even more bullets. Do I see a third? Do I see a third... A uh, set of bullets in this in this uh, little building for me. Probably not. Also, that is a second save point, about thirty seconds away from the previous one. But hey, not gonna complain. Uh, can I go through here? No, the lock is jammed. The door can't be opened. Okay, so how many bullets do I have now? I have a hundred and fifty. I have like ten full magazines. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, so now ha where am I and how do I get to the... Okay, so Bradbury Street. So if I keep going straight here, and then if I make a left... So if I get to this kind of intersection, and then I turn left... Actually, I'm going to quickly... I'm going to quickly go right... Oh! I think to avoid those things, I kind of need to, like almost zigzag in a way. I just want to see if there's any kind of uh, hidden items around this little section. Because who knows, if I can find some hidden items, you, you know, maybe get even more ammo. Oh, anything of the sort like that. That could come in super handy. Okay, I think that thing's leaving me alone now, so that's totally okay. Realistically, I'm just gonna save all of my bullets for while I'm running from point A to point B. Because, realistically, I'm probably not going to be coming back through these areas a whole lot. And also, at the same time, they are very easy to dodge, so I don't see much reason to not do so. Okay, so... Uh... I guess I need to go through this alley now. So if I take this alley, I should go closer to Blotch Street, or Block Street? I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't know how they would want me to pronounce it, but once again, I uh, was kind of zigzag here. Hang on, wait. Uh, hold on, uh, flying enemy. I saw some bullets. I saw some bullets with the trash this year, and you know I just got kicked in the head for it. But you know what? That's okay. I will take a small amount of damage for more ammo. Oh dear, that's two of them. However, I would like to thank the gam. I would like to thank the game camera for uh, suddenly working with me. Now, that's my inventory, not... That's my inventory, not that. Uh, so now I just need to run straight along here. I'll get back onto the path. I'll get back onto the path, the sidewalk, whatever you want to call it. And I guess I just run along here until I see the church. Because, it. well, according to the map, it should be a straight line from here. Well, that's a cross, so I assume this must be the church. Okay, in we go. Were you ringing that bell? I've been expecting you. It was foretold by gyromancy. What are you talking about? I knew you'd come. You want the girl, right? The girl? You're talking about Cheryl. I see everything. You know something. Tell me. Stay back. Nothing is to be gained from floundering about at random. You must follow the path. The path of the hermit concealed by Flauros. What? What are you talking about? Here, the Flauros, a cage of peace. 
It can break through the walls of darkness and counteract the wrath of the underworld. These will help you. Make haste to the hospital before it's too late. Wait, don't go yet. Why does she have a tie? That's a little bit strange to me, but okay. So we take a Flaros and a drawbridge key. And I see... And I also see another health drink. So I'm going to quickly just kind of do a little lap of this church. Make sure that I'm, you know, not missing anything. Because, hey, if I can find... A, if I can find another item or two, that could also be very welcome and helpful to me. Okay, the door's jammed. I feel like there's so many doors that are just jammed in this town. Like... Man, how many people in Silent Hill have open doors? Like... Fellas, can, can, you, can you open doors? How do you get into most of your houses? Okay, so... With that, we could have saved there as well. I guess I'll... I'll play until the next save point. Also, uh, she mentioned Flaros, and I know that Floros is, I know it's one of the things of, like, the 72 demons of Goetia or something, so I don't know if that'll play into the story at all, but that's where my thought process on that currently is. And it's said there's a gas station here, right? Can I go in? Can I go in here? No, it looks pretty blocked off. Like, it looks, uh, it looks pretty closed. 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 But hey, let's quickly just double check. Yeah, it doesn't look like I can go in. Okay. Fair enough. Oh, that's no dog. And I have run into a blocked area here, so I'm... Basically, I needed to just run in a straight line, and I made a slight turn. So let's uh, run up here, and when we get to the next kind of like turning bit, we make a right, and then we go. So from here, it should just be a straight shot to the drawbridge, I think. Right? This, well, this is a bridge of some kind. And I imagine this is the control room for it. Well, there's a sign that says it is. So let's uh, head on in here. And do we have anything? Uh, okay, so we get a map of the shopping district, okay. So now I have that, and another health drink. Nothing else by the looks of it, though. There's a keyhole on the control panel. Oh, I guess I have to actually, uh, quickly click through and find the key. So now that should operate the drawbridge. The machinery is running. Do you want to press the switch? Okay, so that lowers the drawbridge, and now I can go through the shopping district, where assumably the hospital is. However, I am going to end off today's episode here. Yeah, so I'm just going to overwrite this third save, because that's from the recording of an episode that, well, quite simply, yeah, I just didn't have narration for it. So I'm going to end off today's episode here. Next time, we're going to be making our way out... Uh, once again, next time we'll be making our way back out into Silent Hill and into the shopping district towards the hospital. So I'm gonna, so uh, yeah, as always, feel free, feel free to leave a comment or click any of the buttons down below if you feel so inclined. And I'll hopefully see you all next time for more Silent Hill. Okay, thanks for watching. Later.